welcome to this lecture number 12, so in which we will continue with our uh, previous lectures uh, uh, article on steady flow through wells. So, in lecture number 11, we discussed the steady flow through a confined into a well through a confined aquifer, so in which the confined aquifer thickness was B and the well was fully penetrating the entire uh, thickness of the confined aquifer and uh, the, uh, the water table was horizontal before the, the pumping began, uh, which resulted in a steady flow into the aquifer, into the well and uh, the, uh, which also resulted in a steady discharge of Q from the well. And we have got the expression for the uh, the discharge, which is popularly known as the yeah, this is the expression, and uh, Yeah, the original expression in terms of the uh, hydraulic conductivity is uh, Q is equal to 2 pi K into B H 2 minus H 1 divided by natural log of R 2 by R 1. So, this is popularly known as the Thames equation and this when we simplify and uh, assume uh, applying the boundary conditions at the extreme points that is the extreme point wherein the there is no drawdown and the the radius is equal to the radius of influence r capital r and h the head is equal to the total uh, uh, this uh, head or the piezometric head and that the so this is the uh, the upstream most extreme and the downstream most extreme is a cylindrical wall where this s the drawdown is equal to the drawdown in the well equal to S w, R 1 is equal to the radius of the well that is R w and H 1, the head is equal to the, the depth of the water in the con well in the confined aquifer. So, we get this expression and these expressions can be used uh, for with uh, in case of pumping test to determine the hydraulic uh, the aquifer parameters such as the hydraulic conductivity and transmissivity. So, therefore, so, so these expressions can be used in uh, steady flow pumping tests. for fully penetrating wells in confined aquifer for determining the hydraulic conductivity K and the transmissibility or transmissibility T of the aquifer. So, here we get an expression for the hydraulic conductivity K for the steady pumping test through the confined aquifer having a fully penetrating well as uh, Q divided by 2 pi b into h 2 minus h 1 into natural log of r 2 by r 1. The same thing can also be written as 
divided by 2 pi b and in this case that is uh, S w and uh, natural log of r divided by r w. So, here so this is the expression for k in a steady flow pumping test through a fully penetrating well in a confined aquifer. Similarly, the same expression using these equations, we can write down the expression for T as Q divided by 2 pi to H 2 minus H 1. into natural log of R 2 by R 1 this can also be written as Q divided by 2 pi into S w into natural log of r the radius of uh, influence divided by r w the well radius. So, this is uh, the expression for k comma t. So, this is the expression for k and this is the expression for t. So, in a steady flow pumping test through a fully penetrating well in a confined aquifer. So, we need to know to determine this uh, hydraulic conductivity k and transmissivity t, we need to know the steady flow rate from this fully penetrating well in a confined aquifer, we need to know the thickness of the confined aquifer, we need to know either the depths uh, uh, between two the observation wells, the depths of uh, water in two observation wells that is H 1 and H 2. and uh, their radia with respect to the their uh, radial distance with respect to the well axis the vertical well axis r 1 and r 2 and uh, either we need to know these h 1 h 2 r 1 r 2 or we need to know the well radius r w the drawdown in the well s w and the radius of influence that is capital r and uh, so, in this case, so we can easily determine, easily estimate the value of uh, the two of the three aquifer parameters formation constants that is uh, the hydraulic conductivity k and transmissivity or transmissibility t. Now, let us go to the case of steady flow. through a fully penetrating well in an unconfined aquifer. So, so far we have seen the steady flow through 
to a fully penetrating well in a confined aquifer. And now let us go to this uh, steady flow through a fully penetrating well in an unconfined aquifer. So, for this the diagram would be there is a a well which is fully penetrating through an unconfined aquifer and in this case this is the water surface that is the water table before the pumping started. and after the pumping started. So, this water table will show a steady drawdown So, this is the well axis and this is the steady discharge from this uh, well in the unconfined aquifer and uh, this is the lower impervious uh, strata for the unconfined aquifer. And uh, this is the radius of the well is R w and the diameter is 2 R w and uh, this is the the radius of the circle influence or radius of influence radius of the circle of influence is R and the head they are measured above the bottom impervious layer as capital H and uh, at any two points and here what happens is. So, this is the we need to apply the Dupitz assumptions and uh, so this is the water table by Dupitz assumptions and this is the true water table. And here this is H uh, 1 and the drawdown there is S 1 and similarly for the second observation well the head is H 2 and the drawdown there is S 2 and obviously, here the, the Dupitz assumptions which we discussed in the previous uh, lecture are uh, considered that is applied. 
So, the Dupuis assumptions accordingly that is uh, say for small inclinations of free surface the streamlines can be approximated as approximated or assumed as horizontal and second assumption is the hydraulic grade the hydraulic gradient is uh, equal to slope of free surface and is independent of depth is independent uh, let me write here independent of uh, depth. So, here the first assumption that is the streamlines are assumed to be horizontal. So, this is uh, more or less true except close to the well where the streamlines are uh, significantly deviating from this one, but still with these assumptions the uh, that means, the error in estimating the discharge is uh, quite uh, less. So, therefore, because uh, if we uh, consider the, uh, the inclination of the streamlines near to the well, so then we have to modify our expression and uh, for the, the discharge and it will make it uh, more complicated, it will make the expression more complicated. So, therefore, we are making the the two Dupuis assumptions and uh, one. so here the yeah this one so let me show you the the flow that is radially into the well and here uh, this is uh, H W and this is a S w okay, and at any general point this is h at a distance of uh, r from the well axis the drawdown is s. Okay. So, now we will uh, derive the expression for this uh, steady flow. So, we know that the, the radially inward velocity V r is given by k into d h by d r, this is by Darcy's law and uh, so this is uh, by Darcy's law. So, therefore, the steady flow rate through the well is given by this uh, V r into the area which contributes and that area which is uh, contributing in this case will be equal to 2 pi r which is the, uh, the circumference of the circle at that uh, radial distance r multiplied by h which is the uh, depth of water uh, at uh, measured with respect to the horizontal impervious floor multiplied by this is the area multiplied by the velocity that is V r and this is equal to 2 pi r h into k into d h by d r. 
So, therefore, we can write this as q divided by 2 pi into k into d r by r this is equal to h d h. Okay. So, this expression needs to be integrated that is uh, between the limits r 1 the lower limit r 1 and the upper limit r 2 and uh, for the h the lower limit is h 1 the upper limit is h 2. So, therefore, we get q is equal to pi k h 2 square minus h 1 square divided by natural log of r 2 by r 1. And uh, in this case, so this is the expression for the flow rate. So, at the extreme points So, here uh, this case that is h 2 is equal to h r 2 is equal to r and uh, h 1 is equal to h w r 1 is equal to r w. So, therefore, this expression can be rewritten as q is equal to pi into k into h square minus h w square divided by natural log of r divided by r w. So, these are the expressions for the steady flow rate in terms of the hydraulic conductivity k h which is the the depth of water above the impervious layer the uh, in the unconfined aquifer h w is the depth of water in the well and r is the radius of influence r w is the well radius and of course, if you express the same thing for two observation wells in that case. So, this is the expression two observation wells at a distance of r 1 and r 2 at a radial distance of r 1 and r 2, where the, the depth of uh, water is h 1 and h 2. So, these are the this is the expression. So, now let us uh, so in this case it should be noted that it is to be noted that uh, the time required for achieving a steady state is longer for unconfined aquifer.
And uh, so, these uh, two expressions, let us write down the approximate forms. approximate forms of equations for the steady flow rate q. So, when S w that is the drawdown in the well is very small. So, in that case that is uh, S w is equal to h minus h w. is a small relative to h. Therefore, h h square minus h w square, we can write this as h plus h w into h minus h w. So, this h plus h w is approximately equal to 2 h and h minus h w is approximately equal to s w. So, therefore, the approximate expressions for expression for the steady flow rate is equal to two pi or that is pi into k into 2 h s w divided by natural log of r divided by r w and uh, this can be written as 2 pi into t into s w divided by natural log of r divided by r w. So, these are the approx this is one approximate uh, expression for q when this s w is uh, very small. Similarly, this uh, we can also write this q is approximately equal to 2 pi into t into s 1 minus s 2 divided by natural log of r 2 by r 1. So, in this case that is uh, so here that is h 2 square minus h 1 square. So, here that is uh, assuming h 2 square minus h 1 square is equal to h 2 plus h 1 into h 2 minus h 1 and this h 2 plus h 1 we can uh, take this to be approximately equal to that is 2 t 2 that is h into and this s 2 so, this is S 2 H 2 minus H 1 is equal to S 2 minus S 1. So, therefore, we get this expression that is uh, so these two expressions will give the approximate expressions for the steady flow rate through this fully penetrating well in an unconfined aquifer. 
and obviously they are uh, almost the same as the expressions for uh, steady flow through a fully penetrating well in a confined aquifer. So, now we have discussed the uh, the steady flow through a fully penetrating well in an unconfined aquifer as well as a fully penetrating well in a confined aquifer. And uh, now in this case, so here we can also write down, so therefore, this T is approximately approximated as k into h 1 plus h 2 by 2. So, therefore, this k into h 1 plus h 2 is equal to 2 t. So, this is a, with this assumption. So, we get this approximate expression for uh, this q. Now, let us consider the the unconfined aquifer it is unconfined aquifer with uniform recharge So, in this previous uh, two cases, we did not consider any recharge into the well. So, now let us consider the unconfined aquifer with uniform recharge. So, in this case that is the this is the ground level. and this is the well in the unconfined aquifer and uh, this is the water table and of course, so here we are getting the, the uniform recharge. And let us uh, take this as a uh, W recharge rate W and this is the the steady flow through this well is Q Q W and uh, here So, this is the lower impermeable strata and uh, let us consider a strip wherein to the inflow is uh, Q and outflow is Q plus d q. So, this d q is the one which gets contribution from this recharge the constant recharge. And uh, in this case let us consider the, the water table. And uh, let us consider the steady height as uh, say h 0 and the radius of influence as r 0. And uh, here, so this radius is r and then for this elemental strip of radial distance d r. Okay. 
So, now we can write down for this case we can write down the expression for the discharge d q is given by the area that is minus 2 pi r into d r. into the uniform rate of uh, recharge. So, if we integrate this one, we get that is q is equal to minus pi into r square into w plus the constant of integration and uh, the boundary conditions are at the well r tends to 0 and q tends to q w. Therefore, q w is equal to c. Therefore, we can write down this q is equal to minus pi r square into w plus q w. Okay. And uh, if we substitute the expression for q which is minus 2 pi r k into h d h by d r. So, here this k into d h by d r is the velocity as per Darcy's law and 2 pi r into h is the, the area which contributes flow. So, this is equal to minus pi r square into w plus q w. So, if you integrate this expression integrating applying the, the boundary condition it is uh, h is equal to h 0 the upstream most boundary condition and at uh, r is equal to r 0. So, therefore, we can write down after integration we will get an expression for the, the drawdown curve h 0 square minus h square will be equal to this is w divided by 2 k into r square minus r 0 square plus q w divided by pi k into natural log of r 0 by r. So, this is the, so the expression for this drawdown curve. In an unconfined aquifer with uniform recharge.
Okay. So, if we know the the value of the depth of water above the lower impervious layer, the uniform rate of recharge, hydraulic conductivity and the radius of influence R 0 Q w which is the steady flow through this uh, well fully penetrating the unconfined aquifer. So, in that case, so this will be the expression for the drawdown and we know that when R is equal to R 0, Q is equal to 0. That means, beyond this uh, the cone of influence, there is no flow contribution. So, therefore, substituting these values, we get Q w is equal to pi into R 0 square into w. In this case, so that is uh, so when uh, R is equal to R 0, in that case. So, this uh, Q is equal to 0. So, therefore, uh, if you apply this expression, so in that case this Q w is equal to pi into R, w, R 0 square into w. So, therefore, so this is the expression for the, the steady flow through this uh, well. in an unconfined aquifer having a uniform recharge and this is the so this is the expression for steady flow through a fully penetrating well in a confined aquifer in an unconfined aquifer with uniform recharge. So, it is fairly simple. So, simply the, the area of the circle of influence multiplied by the the uniform rate of recharge. So, that will be given by that will give the expression for the, the steady flow through the well. And uh, now, let us consider a well in a uniform flow. uniform flow through an unconfined aquifer. So, again this is a say fully penetrating well in a uniform flow through so far we have seen, we have considered the water table to be horizontal, so that only after the pumping starts, the well starts getting a contribution from the aquifer. Now, instead of that, suppose we consider a well 
which is uh, drilled through an unconfined aquifer having a sloping water table below the sloping ground. In this case let us consider, so this is the sloping uh, water table So, with slope of uh, i okay, and uh, let me denote the well axis here and the, the uniform discharge through this well. And uh, here what happens is after the pumping starts then the water table will uh, show a drawdown curve like this. So, this is the drawdown curve. And in this case, obviously, here so up to this point only there will be contribution to the well, and obviously, on this uh, the right side it is fully flowing this one and if you draw the so in this case let us uh, i'm sorry so this is uh, let us say uh, this is a, a confined aquifer and uh, here This is the top confining layer, and the confined aquifer thickness is B. And uh, now, in let me so this represents the stagnation this vertical uh, line represents stagnation and uh, let us also draw the top view for this This, uh, this, this is the let me draw the top view in this case this is the well and uh, let me So, here so this represents the stagnation surface and uh, within this
So, these are the streamlines. and uh, so here at any let us consider this as uh, plus y l and let us consider this as uh, no, I am sorry. So, this plus y l goes all the way up to here. This is minus y l and uh, this is this distance is uh, say minus x l and obviously, so this is the x and y coordinate. And uh, beyond this, the flow lines will be like this. Okay. So now. For this case, so there is a stagnation surface because of the original slope that is the original hydraulic gradient due to an inclined water table. So, in this case, we can write down the expression for the hydraulic conductivity as 2 q k is equal to 2 q divided by pi into r into h u plus h d into i u plus i d. And for here this uh, h u is the upstream saturated thickness, H d is the downstream saturated thickness and this I u is the upstream water table slope. and I d this is the downstream water table slope. So, by superimposing radial flow and 1 d flow, we get we can write down the expression for this uh, the stagnation surface that is y by minus y by x is equal to tan of 2 pi k b i divided by q into y. So, this is the expression. So, this B is the saturated uh, that is the aquifer thickness and Q is a steady discharge and uh, of course, I am not going into the derivation of this. So, therefore, and this Y L is given by plus or minus Q divided by 2 K B I. So, this is the distance of the, the stagnation surface at a distance at 
and uh, okay and xl is given by minus q divided by 2 pi k b i so we'll uh, stop here and we'll continue in the next lecture thank you bye